Welcome. Hello, my name is Teresa Quijano, and I am the Lead Financial Aid Coordinator here at Pacifica. And I wanted to share some general information regarding financial aid. So your financial aid is packaged based on the cost of attendance approved by the Department of Education. Cost of attendance is an estimated budget of the cost of education for the academic year. The financial aid budget consists of direct and indirect costs. Direct costs include tuition and residential non-residential fees. These are the cost of items that you pay directly to the school. Indirect costs include books, travel, and reasonable living expenses. Personal expenses may vary based on individual standards of living and residential location. Now your residential and non-residential fees, although you see them on your agreement, as well as our publications, during any period of remote learning, you will not be charged a residential, non-residential fee. Now that we've talked about financial aid budget and the cost of attendance, let's talk about some ways you can fund your education. Pacifica offers program-based scholarships for new students starting in the fall quarter. Scholarship awards can range from $500 to $4,000 each academic year. Program-specific scholarships are renewable, meaning a student, if they submit their renewable application each year and maintain the academic requirements, can receive their assigned scholarship award during their coursework. Renewable scholarships can be applied during dissertation, but not dissertation extension. Scholarships are a great resource to reduce student loan debt. All students, including international students, are encouraged to apply. So let's review the list. Now the educational assistance, all programs can apply. The MA Counseling Program has the Founder Scholarship. The Clinical Programs have the Young Freud Scholarship. Humanities and DJA Program has Global Innovator Scholarship. And Mythological Studies has the Joseph Campbell Scholarship. Now the CLIE Program has two Herman Warsh Scholarships, the Matching Grant and Renewable Scholarship. To apply, students must be officially accepted into a Pacifica program. They must have their FAFSA on file and submit their scholarship application along with their brief essay by the published deadline. Any late or incomplete applications will not be considered. We would like to encourage students to apply for their scholarship during their admissions process so they can submit their scholarship application by the published deadline. The scholarship committee reviews all applications and notifies the student if they have been awarded. All of the applications can be found on the financial aid webpage. Now outside resources, we do accept VA benefits and we encourage veterans to contact their rep for more information. Also, the AmeriCorps and Coverdale, you can visit our website for more information. We also have obtained a list of outside scholarship searches that may be helpful to you. You'll note this list is revised each academic year. Employer tuition reimbursement. It may be a great idea to check with your employer to see if they offer any tuition benefits. Installment plans. The Student Accounts Department here at Pacifica is happy to work with students with a payment installment that works with both the student and Pacifica. Mary Haney and Emily Martinez both work in the Student Accounts Department and would be so happy to, to assist you. Now let's talk about federal funding. Students looking into federal aid must have their current FAFSA on file. That can be found at fafsa.ed.gov. You will be using your tax information from two years prior. The FAFSA is a free application for federal student aid. Note, you are not obligated to accept any loans. This FAFSA must be completed each academic year. There are 
reasons for ineligibility, and here are a few. Any previous federal loan cannot be in default status. If you are not a citizen or not an approved as a non-citizen, any males who have been born after 1965 who have not registered for selective service, you must not have been convicted for a drug felony in the last two years. The Office of Financial Aid will contact you directly if we are notified of your status. All eligible students qualify for $20,500 in an unsubsidized Stafford loan per award year as long as they have not come close to or reached their aggregate lifetime limit of $138,500. Again, any federal loans cannot be in default status. The interest rate for this loan begins to accrue once it has been dispersed. For a current interest rate on this loan, you can find it on studentaid.gov. This loan allows a six-month grace period for repayment once you've dropped below three units. The unsubsidized Stafford loan is available to cover the majority of your tuition. As a supplement to cover the difference, most students apply for the Graduate PLUS loan. The Graduate PLUS loan is a federal student loan available for students attending graduate and professional schools. To be eligible, a student cannot have an adverse credit history. It is a separate application found on the studentaid.gov website. This loan is credit-based, there are no aggregate lifetime limits, and the interest rate for this loan begins to accrue once it has been dispersed. Again, the current interest rate for this loan can be found on the studentaid.gov website. This loan offers a six-month grace period and also needs to be completed annually along with your FAFSA. If you are denied the PLUS loan, you can appeal. You will be notified by the Department of Education with information on the denial. That correspondence will give you the information you need on how to appeal. There is a credit override. You will be notified by the agency regarding any information that needs to be resolved. Once it is resolved, you would contact the Department of Education to update. You can also obtain an endorser. An endorser is someone who does not have an adverse credit history and agrees to repay the loan if you do not repay it. For more information on appeals, visit studentaid.gov and search appeals. Now for more information regarding any federal funding, you can visit the Federal Student Aid website at studentsaid.ed.gov. Once you have been accepted and your financial aid has been packaged, you will receive secure access to the financial aid portal. You will be able to view your financial aid, accept or deny your aid, complete any forms needed, and view scheduled disbursement. If you have any additional questions, we encourage you to schedule an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one phone consultation with one of our coordinators. You can visit pacifica-financial-aid.youcanbookme or visit our financial webpage and the link is housed there. To contact our office, you can email financialaid at pacifica.edu or call 805-679-6197. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for your interest in Pacifica.